story that gives hope to anybody who has struggled to start a family. A woman's quest to have a baby leads to a devastating diagnosis. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman reveals how one blood test set her on a path to survival that ended with the new baby girl. Elizabeth is loving her little Chloe for all the obvious reasons, but unlike many new mothers, she also is well aware that her quest for this four month old saved her life. A trip to the fertility doctor ended with a diagnosis no prospective mom wants to hear. Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease. Instead of cancer treatment right away, she was sent here first, a fertility center. Egg retrieval, preserving your fertility, they don't know what chemo will do to you. Um, radiation chemotherapy can really wreak havoc on men and women's fertility. And so it's nice to hopefully be able to get an oncologist or an oncologic surgeon to have some discussion with them and send them to a fertility specialist so we can at least have the conversation of what to do potentially now before we reduce fertility treatment with cancer treatment. Studies show most women diagnosed with cancer are misinformed about their fertility options. But new breakthroughs mean these these patients don't need to lose hope. We used to say we had to start the treatment medication in order to do an IVF cycle um, at a particular time in a woman's cycle, a menstrual cycle, and now we know that we can start at any time. Catching the cancer early is crucial, and this little angel is responsible. We do blood work um, when we're doing fertility treatments and happen to catch something that we didn't expect, and so yeah, it was amazing to be able to create a life and save a life. Wonderful. It's wonderful. She's She's a wonderful baby. It took a few years before Elizabeth got a clean enough bill of health to continue on with embryo implantation. She has more embryos frozen at the Texas Fertility Center and says she's ready to welcome another child to the family. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.